Hello and welcome back to the KCC channel, I'm Rob and today we'll be jumping into Entitled Parents. Before we start, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when the next video goes live. Our first story today comes to us from Nobody's Artist. Entitled mother thinks our fresh milk is too expensive, wants to buy calf instead. Let's jump right in. After reading and listening to stories from this subreddit for over a year now, I have dreamed of the day I would encounter a Karen or entitled parent in the wild, never expecting it to ever happen. But today was the day, and boy, what an encounter it was. So, for a little bit of background, my grandma works on a medium-sized dairy farm as kind of a manager, and I, 18 female, help her out from time to time. We have a thing called milk filling station, it's basically a vending machine where you can buy fresh milk from us and it's one euro per liter. We're located on a hill a little outside a small village and surrounded by meadows and forests. So we do get some hikers or families on a nice walk from time to time, especially on the weekends, and they usually look at the calves and buy some milk. One shift here usually includes four people, everyone has different jobs to fulfill, so most of the time you're alone just doing your tasks and my job is essential for the milking process, as it includes bringing the cows to the milking station and back to their herds. And now on to the actual story. As I've mentioned, I'm alone most of the time, just doing my thing, running around inside the farm. It's a restricted area, we have signs up since it can be quite dangerous, but the gates are open to make work easier and for ventilation, so theoretically everyone could walk in. Still, I was kinda surprised when I, in the midst of literally shoveling cow crap, was met with a rather annoyed ahem behind me. I turned around, shovel still in hand, and saw a woman, maybe in her mid-thirties, standing before me, way too overdressed to be seen anywhere near a farm. She also didn't look like she was on a casual walk with her family. At least, I wouldn't do one in the high heels she was wearing. She was looking at me rather angrily, and I immediately knew that this was probably the day I'd been waiting for, although I never expected it to be here of all places. Before I could even so much as open my mouth, she already started speaking in a very condescending tone to me. Finally, I've been looking for someone to help me for ages. Why are none of you doing your job and being there when you're needed? I was instantly annoyed with this woman because how dare she come in here and talk to me like that? And also, what job was she referring to? Because I, for one, was doing mine right at this moment, and it was strictly timed. I had to get stuff done with zero time to listen to this lady, so I tried to give her the benefit of the doubt and be nice. Sorry, if you are referring to the office in the front, there usually is no one since we're all in here doing our job. What's the problem? Maybe I can help. I thought that maybe she's had a flat tire or something around here and needed help because I legitimately had no idea what someone dressed like her could want on a dairy farm. She just scoffed at me. Huh? Unbelievable. You should be over there in case someone needs your help like I do. Anyways, your milk is too expensive. I'm sorry, what? I said, your milk is too expensive. I want a better price. She was saying every word slowly and loudly as if she thought I was disabled. Oh, are you talking about the vending machine? I'm sorry, but that's a fixed price. I can't change that. And in my opinion, she cut me off. I didn't ask for your opinion. It's way cheaper at the supermarket, but my daughter wanted to try fresh milk, so we drove here. You should match the price at the supermarkets or you won't sell much. Ma'am, we're not a supermarket. We're selling the leftover fresh milk so it doesn't go to waste. She cut me off again. What? That's leftover milk? Ew. And to imagine, my daughter could have drank that. Now, for clarification, when I said leftover milk, I meant that it was fresh milk, as in barely out of the cow fresh, that we weren't able to sell to the company which collects our milk because they have fixed numbers. And if we produce more milk than those numbers, we would have to throw it away. But with the vending machine, at least some of it still gets sold. If you want fresher milk than that, you would have to milk the cow yourself right into the bottle. I started to try and explain this to the entitled mother, but she immediately cut me off again. 
No, no, this is unacceptable. Neither me nor my child will drink old milk. And then the dreaded sentence came. I want to speak to your manager. I already had enough of this BS, pun intended, and as I've already said, a strictly timed job that I had to get back to, because we were in the middle of milking our cows and this lady was literally holding up the whole process by holding me up. So I was more than happy to agree and get her to my manager, my grandma, and have her out of my hair. I just motioned for her to follow me and speed walked in the direction of the front office while the lady was trying to keep up in her high heels without breaking her ankles. Now, our office is kind of another building, and the door closest to us was locked, so we had to walk around the building, across the parking lot for the workers, and through another entrance that happened to be right beside the boxes we kept the newborn calves in. This also was the place where I met the before-mentioned daughter of the entitled mother. The girl was maybe 10 years old, and happily watching the calves and petting them when we came into view. As soon as she saw her mom, she ran to her and started excitedly jumping up and down. Mom, mom, look at the cute calves. She dragged her mom over to the boxes. Look, it's so cute. I named her Emma. Can we keep her, please? I expected the entitled mother to maybe say something along the lines of, a cow is not a pet, or we don't have the space, or maybe... I don't know how to take care of a cow, but boy, was I wrong. Instead, the mom turns to me and asks, completely serious, how much are these? Now, although we do sell our male calves since they are of no use to us, I for one wasn't sure how much exactly this calf was worth. Pretty sure that there was a registration process involved in owning a cow and in no way, shape, or form authorized to just sell a calf like that. And on top of that, Cows aren't exactly animals you can just put in your yard and be done with. I'm sorry, but I was cut off again. No, I asked how much it is. Tell me. Ma'am, that's a cow, not a pet. I know, but your milk is way too expensive anyways. Just sell me one of those if my daughter wants it and we will have our own really fresh milk. At this point, I strongly considered just walking away because there was no way this woman could be serious. She deadbutt wanted to buy an animal that would grow up to be around 1.4 meters high and 700 kilograms heavy, strong enough to kill you if you handle them wrong. Not only that, but also a cow of a breed that needs to be milked twice a day because it produces as much milk as possible, which is around 30 to 50 liters at our farm. All that because one euro per liter for fresh milk apparently was too much, and her daughter thought our calves were cute. They are, but that's not the point. Plus, you need to properly take care of them, feed them right, and just getting a calf won't give you instant milk. She has to grow up, get pregnant, give birth, etc. All around, this entitled mother would have to wait for another 24 to 28 months until her calf starts giving milk, and then repeat the process every year so she would have new calves to take care of every year just to keep her one cow running, so to speak. Instead of telling her directly how stupid, time and money consuming this idea is, I decide to try and take the diplomatic way. Ma'am, I understand, but it's not that easy. I'm afraid I'm not able. Then get me someone who's able. I want to speak to your manager anyways. Why do you have to be such an incompetent worker? How old are you? 15? Children shouldn't talk back to adults. That's where I've had it. And so I just blurted out the best thing I could think of at the time. I am an adult and you should stop talking to me like that. I am not obligated to help you. And in fact, we could sue you for trespassing on private property. How dare you threaten me, young lady? That is no way to talk to a person older than you. Learn some respect. I demand to speak to your manager. I will get you fired for this. As if she was called, my grandma stepped out of the building right at that moment, probably because she heard the commotion. What's going on here? Oh, good. Are you the manager of this place? At the moment, yes. How can I help you? This worker of yours was incredibly rude. She threatened me and my daughter and refused to help us. She even tried to assault me right before you came outside. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been on time. Entitled mother was trying to squeeze some fake tears out at this point, quickly swiping them away with her finger before they could ruin her very thick layer of makeup. 
All we wanted was to ask if we could get the milk you were selling a little cheaper. And my daughter here really likes this calf over there, so we thought about buying it. My grandma was just silently listening to this woman's story, arms crossed, eyebrow raised, because she could smell the BS from three miles away. Ma'am, this is my granddaughter you're talking about, and I know for a fact that she wouldn't do any of that. Entitled mother went awfully quiet at that. So, about the milk, I maybe would have helped you out if you hadn't just lied to my face, but now I kindly ask you to just pay the full price as everyone else does. And the calf, I'm afraid, I won't be able to sell it to you. This is outrageous. I'm a paying customer. I would pay for this calf. Why are you refusing? My daughter wants a cow and she likes this one there. Her name is Emma. Ma'am, that won't give you a cow. It will give you a bull. It's a male calf. You're lying. You just don't want to sell it because it's pretty. My grandma just silently pointed to the big symbol on the side of the box, clearly labeling it as a boy. At this point, the entitled mother just huffed and mumbled something about stupid, uneducated people from the countryside and how she would never come back here ever again, which I would also really appreciate. The entitled girl was whining loudly about her Emma while her mom was dragging her back to their expensive-looking car, and my grandma and I watched them drive away before having a good laugh about the whole story. Here's a picture of little Emma, by the way. Part of me thinks they should have just sold her the male calf and been done with it, but then part of me thinks that that wouldn't have been a good life for that male calf, and they made the right decision. Calves are definitely cute, but you have to remember, just like any other animal, they will grow up. Our next story comes to us from His the Whistle. Entitled mother wants me to be free, full-time childcare to her kids because I am at home, working. Let's jump right in. So, I'm a stay-at-home mom to my one-year-old. While staying at home, I run the account side of my partner's business. Invoicing, procurement, bookkeeping, etc. Not masses of work, but when the phone rings, I answer it kind of stuff. Other half would be the first to admit he's useless at this. A girl I met whilst pregnant who had her son roughly the same time as my youngest has just gone back to work after having two kids. We got pretty close during pregnancy. She's a bit younger than me, but she was helpful because she's been through it before. Father of the kids left her a few months back and he works full time. Her mother was supposed to have her son and their three-year-old daughter from 10 to 2 every day. However, that's all fallen through and her mom didn't actually quit her job as promised. WhatsApp conversation as follows. My mom's not going to be watching the kids anymore when I go back to work. Oh no, that's awful. What are you going to do? Have you looked at nurseries? We can't afford a nursery for two kids. I might as well not go to work for what it costs. I know, childcare is ridiculously expensive. Might have more luck with a childminder? Any chance you could watch them for a few hours? Um, I don't mind helping out now and then if something comes up, but I can't do every day. What? But you said you'd always help if we needed. Yeah, I meant if your mom was sick or busy, not every day. It's only a few hours. They won't be too much trouble. They will keep your little one occupied. It's hard enough looking after my own and working. I really can't manage three. But you don't work. I do spend a few hours a day keeping things running for other half. Oh, right, that. I don't really see the problem. Why can't you watch them? It's only a few hours. It's four hours. It also means I can't go anywhere because I can't fit three car seats in my car. Well, the only way I can work is if we have free childcare, so someone's going to have to watch them for me. She did the stupid shruggy arms emoji here too. I'm sorry, but I really can't do it. It wouldn't work. I really think you're being unfair here. You're not doing anything all day, and you won't even look after my kids for a few hours. It's not fair of you to expect me to watch your two kids, as well as my own, unpaid, five days a week, whilst I also have to do all the admin for the business. Can't you just pay someone to do that? Why should we pay someone to do something I'm currently doing at zero cost to us? so that I can watch your kids for free? Because I need your help. Funny how you can watch your own child, but not mine. Looking after one kid is a lot different to three. I think you're just being difficult because you don't want to help me. Etc, etc, conversation ended. 
didn't speak to her but saw a passive-aggressive Facebook status about fake friends and people who let you down. Moron. Wifey and I have three kids at home, eight years and under, and this place is hectic even when we're not trying to work. I don't blame OP one bit for turning this down. I mean, maybe for family you'd take over for a little bit, but this is just a friend and a very entitled one at that. Thank you to both OPs for posting their stories in the Entitled Parents subreddit. They are linked in the description down below. Please go check them out. Check out one of these other videos. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button for more daily Reddit stories.